Hi, my name is Matt Eason, and in this video, we're going to discuss whether or not you should call your insurance company, even if it's not your fault. I've been practicing personal injury law in California for the last 25 years, and when clients come into my office, they're often nervous about they did or did not call their insurance company. And in this video, I want to discuss with you the parameters of whether or not you should call and when you should call. Before getting into when you should call and whether you should call, let's first make sure we understand what the insurance company role in this is. They are a for-profit business as a general rule. And how do businesses make a profit? They increase their revenue, they decrease their expenses. Paying claims to you or to anybody else is an expense. And as such, they're motivated to reduce those expenses and pay you as little as possible. So when you call an insurance company, you need to be sure and be aware that they're not necessarily on your side. They're on the side of reducing their expenses, whosoever side that happens to be. One of the good things about calling your insurance company sooner than later is they could actually be your advocate in the process. If you contact them in a questionable situation, your adjuster is likely going to reach out to the other side and hopefully will get them to give a recorded statement in which we can use against that person later on. Just like they're trying to get a recorded statement on the other side, you need to be sure to not give one on your side without first speaking with an attorney. So while you should be very weary of an insurance company getting information from you, there's nothing wrong with turning them on to the other side to get information that's beneficial to you from the other side. Another reason to contact your insurance company early on has to do with property damage. Technically speaking, if the other side's at fault, the other side's insurance company should pay for the repair or replacement of your vehicle. However, sometimes those insurance companies are particularly slow or adversarial, and if you go to your insurance company, you may be able to get that claim resolved sooner. The downside of going to your insurance company is that you may have to pay a deductible first. However, if the insurance company is able to recover any money from the other side, your deductible is the first expense reimbursed. So from a practical standpoint, getting your car repaired or replaced sooner, a lot of times it is better to go through your insurance company as long as you don't mind being out the deductible for an abbreviated period of time. A couple of big cautions to you though in speaking with your insurance company about the mechanics of the accident and your bodily injury. Remember, despite what the ads say, they're not on your side, they're on the side of minimizing their exposure. So when you describe the accident to them, if there's any doubt or any dispute as to liability, you really should not have that conversation at all until you've spoken with an attorney to make sure you understand the law and what facts are beneficial to you. You're not going to want to change your story, but how you present the story can make a big difference. Likewise, you don't want to talk to the other insurance company or even your insurance company about your bodily injuries until you've completely resolved, until you've had a chance to talk to an attorney about the value of those claims. Insurance companies are going to use words to minimize your injury and you get you to be agreeable to those words and that's going to make it harder later on down the road to make those claims. Likewise, a common ploy in the current environment is for an insurance company to offer you a modest amount of money right out of the blocks to sign a waiver before you finish treatment and realize that you have a more serious injury. If you sign a waiver, it's probably binding and as a result, you've probably waived your case. When thinking about whether or not to contact your insurance company, it's always important to remember the big picture. They're a for-profit company that wants to reduce their risk. And one way to reduce the risk is by getting words that are hurtful to you or unhelpful to your injury claim. Be very, very cautious calling any insurance company about your claim without talking to an attorney first if you have any concerns about liability and who's at fault. Likewise, do not contact any insurance companies, your own or the other side, to discuss your physical injuries until you've completely healed and had a chance to speak with an attorney about the value of those claims. I hope this answers some of your questions about whether or not you should contact an insurance company even if it's not your fault. Again, my name is Matt Eason. If you've been involved in a car accident or otherwise have a personal injury claim and would like to speak with an attorney for a free consultation, I hope you'll consider calling myself. My phone number is 916-438-1819. The law firm name is Eason and Tamanini. We're located at 1234 H Street, Sacramento, California, 95814. And you can find us on the web at www.capcitylaw.com.